Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rocker911 and today I finally got my GeForce uh, GTX 1080 uh, graphics card. Um, this is the Asus uh, Strix uh, ROG version. Um, this took a long time uh, to come. I ordered it like uh, two weeks ago and it's been on back order since. Uh, so today it finally came and I'm just going to unbox this and uh, show you guys how I'll install it into my uh, computer. Alright, so there's the graphics card itself. Um, there wasn't much in the box, there's just this random uh, box. I haven't opened that yet actually. Um, so here's the back, the, there's some RG lighting there. And there's also some, um, some on these little... Uh, uh, things I don't know what they're called um, those are LEDs as well so uh, let's just get this installed so I uh, just opened this box here um, there's pretty uh, standard things just some well these are pretty cool there's just uh, some fabric cable ties and this is just uh, uh, this game World of Warships uh, code I think I don't know if there's actually a code oh there's no code um, some a setup guide and a uh, CD I think probably with the drivers you can just get those online and uh, this power uh, converter which I don't need I have uh, I have two power cords ready for my uh, power supply so I got my two VGA uh, power cords from my power supply uh, keep in mind the power supply I'm using is fully modular so uh, you know so there's there are different models uh, so just keep in mind uh, keep that in mind. Um, so as you can see, these are eight pin, but you can uh, you can just detach. Um, what's on the side? Oh, I can't find it. Okay, yeah, you can just attach uh, the uh, power, like one of them, to get a six pin one. Because the one on this actually it has uh, the power on this is one six pin, and then one another eight pin one. All right, so uh, we're gonna use the uh, fastest uh, 16 times PCI lane, which is just at the top there. It doesn't really matter. Um, I've checked online uh, against the eight times, but I kind of like it to be up there. So uh, we're just gonna remove two of these uh, slots because it's a dual slot card, and we'll just uh, let's get back. All right, so now that we've removed two of these slots, I'm just gonna place the uh, graphics card right in there. I think I'm actually gonna uh, turn my PC over just so it's a bit easier uh, to reach inside and all. Um, I'm gonna take the plastic coverings off first, I think, and we're just gonna slide it into uh, this PC IE slot. Oh, it goes that way. All right, so it's open now, and I'm just gonna put my PC sideways uh, just to make it easier. All right, so I uh, just turned my PC sideways now. It's a bit easier uh, to gain access to this and just installing, uh, it won't at least uh, bend a bit when you're putting it in and until you screw it in. Um, so I'm just gonna be installing it now. All right, so uh, just one thing is just make sure that you remove this. Uh, it's pretty uh, straight, it's pretty obvious, but uh, just be wary of that. All right, so I just realized I messed it up. Um, this graphics card is actually way bigger than uh, the PC, so I have to kind of slot it in, but um, the thing is these uh, hard drive uh, bays are just uh, covering it up a bit. So I think I'll kind of move them down a bit, um, just for uh, that fan over there, because I kind of put them just for that fan, but it's fine, I can just move it down, just, uh, I'll move them down here, and that'll give me access. I did actually try putting it in, and it does actually go in, it's just, uh, just kind of a tight fit right now. All right, so uh, back now, what I did was I actually just uh, put those, uh, move those hard drives to uh, spaces upwards because there's actually not enough space uh, on these bottom bays. Um, it's not really what I wanted because I kind of wanted this fan just for a CPU airflow, um, but I might just be uh, getting a, a liquid cooler later on for my uh, CPU. So uh, that's that. Um, anyways, it's pretty good now. Um, I actually wanted to open up the uh, back cover anyways because of the power supply. So I'm just going to connect those cables in now. Alright, so I uh, kind of got those in. Uh, it's kind of a tight fit, but anyways. Um, so here they are. Make sure you connect the side with the uh, the separable uh, connection. Uh, the other side, actually. Um, so you have the this side uh, ready to connect to your graphics card. 
Um, okay, uh, it's kind of a mess back here. I should clean it up soon. Um, and I'll just run these through one of these ports and I'll see what happens. And we'll just connect the graphics card now. All right, there we go. Um, here it is inside. Now I did actually run the uh, cables through uh, from the bottom slot here, not the uh, the one over here. Um, it was just kind of the way it fit. Uh, it fit better if it went in that way. Um, now how you guys install it is it actually is a couple millimeters bigger than uh, well the case I'm using, which is the eight four uh, eight four forty uh, from NZXT um, H eight H four forty. Um, so. Uh, this kind of, this panel here kind of uh, blocks it. What you can do is just slide it in through um, this, uh, just slide it in first, so like this corner first, and then uh, just kind of fit it in there because you, you do have some room uh, to kind of adjust things inside. Um, another thing is I did actually have all these uh, hard drives, oh shit, that, that, um, that hard drive bay is, uh, uh, I did installed that wrong, um, but I did actually remove the other hard drive bays before just uh, just to increase the airflow. Um, it, they're all installed usually. Uh, it's pretty useless. I mean, eleven hard drive bays. I'm never gonna have uh, eleven hard drives. Um, so yeah, you do have to do that. You do have to uh, move the hard drive bays a bit. Um, I do have two hard drives, so that does uh, that does uh, make things a bit worse. But um, obviously. Uh, you know, you still have space up there, and I guess that's still enough uh, airflow for that um, for the CPU cooler. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, just with this case, um, those screws, it was kind of a tight fit. Um, so just be wary about that. Um, and that's basically it. all you do uh, is you make sure you open that uh, little. Uh, I'm trying to get it on the camera. Um, just this little. Uh, Thing here this little uh, knob uh, make sure that's open before you actually insert your graphics card obviously and then uh, once it in it's in just try to slide it back in with your finger you can also install it on this uh, gray uh, PCI slot wouldn't make much of a difference um, and I also kept the SLI uh, bridge uh, things still inside now this uh, this uh, GPU also comes with two fan headers I think they're all over there I don't actually see them um, which I don't think I'll ever be using. I don't think, uh, well, I could connect one of those fans, but these aren't even, uh, the P PWM fans, so just, uh, it wouldn't be much of a use. All right, so, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll be doing, uh, some benchmarks soon, and I'll be posting those as well. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, um, on how to install just any GPU or any other thing, uh, feel free feel free to uh, comment below and I'll be uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible just uh, one last thing guys um, when you're connecting your HDMI or uh, display cable uh, make sure you connect it to the GPU um, not the uh, not the motherboard uh, HDMI ports uh, it's just it's pretty obvious but uh, you know it's something I googled the first time uh, the thought came to my head but yeah, so uh, for now, just uh, subscribe and I'll be posting the uh, benchmark videos soon.